So hello students, we are come back and uh, today we are going to uh, touch, we'll be touching on chapter 1 form 4. Okay, so this is a uh, form 4 science and I think you guys are the second year. You are the, you are the second year of uh, the change of the syllabus. So you are, I think you, you'll be lucky, you'll be privileged because this actually is a new chapter. So when a new chapter, usually teacher haven't get used to it, but you are already the second year. So, so eventually teacher will teach and they will get used to it and the teacher will teach better whether at uh, tuition or in the school. So let's dive into chapter one, safety measure in the laboratory. So it will be same like your PT3. Uh, when you go to form one, you study your first chapter is safety safety in laboratory and for form 4 that's why I say it's the same um, I mean not the same but almost the same with form 1, form 2, form 3 and form 4, form 5 they are uh, they will link together and if you are going to take to university course and it will also continue to link so it will be um, good lah, huh, for you to know okay safety measure so this one you know so i just keep lah, huh? i just keep this one you know google is a safety measure glove face mask lab code, lab coat closed shoe so this one i think you guys know already okay but this one you need to uh, memorize a bit okay abc fire extinguisher so this is the abc uh powder huh? here got put here abc powder and you need to know and you need to remember uh, this, this one you can memorize now already uh, even though it's the start of your class um, this chapter is a bit boring uh, because you need to memorize and, uh, and there's no choice to learn this but to remember so uh, you need to remember for example this one is red color this one is green they should give color lah, uh, and this is black color and this is blue color that's why i like textbook uh. if i teach textbook then i got it. i got the color to to have okay so what is the different you need to know the difference so the red color one we can see the different is the red color is to extinguish solid just remember solid can ready lah huh? solid as paper and wood the green color one it will be for uh, combustion material just as solid here is solid lah huh? cloth paper and white is solid and liquid Q U I D liquid okay and also for gas foam like water as a cooling effect create layer that separate the fire from the view so this is for only solid red color only for solid so if the oil is on fire you might not uh, want to use the red one then we have the black one okay black one is for electrical equipment electrical appliance actually this is also for everything lah huh? it's for you can use it for anything because it's a uh, this one is a uh, carbon dioxide means that means that you when there is a fire um fire need three things correct or not what are the three things needed for fire oxygen okay some more uh heat and heat and so let's go back to the top part um uh, personal equipment so i think this one we are not going to study lah huh? I, I mean not going to study i mean I don't think exam will come out lah. I don't think this one will come out. Usually it won't come out. 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 Won't come out in exam. But but come out also never mind lah. Huh? You know lah. Huh? Face mask is to protect the um, the gas. Google is to protect your eye. So we, uh, we are going to just skip this part. I mean, uh, you read by yourself lah. Huh? Personal protective equipment. Mm, this one also I think seldom come out in the exam uh, maybe you need to know is the for example the film chamber where you want to do something that is 
got a lot of gas so fume is like the gas so uh, you don't want to smell it so you put your hand inside and you do inside so the the gas inside will be staying inside so it will be safer for you you don't want to smell it okay for example like a poisonous smell lamina flow okay to carry out tissue culture it will occur to ensure spin the cabinet uh, make sure it is prevent contamination means it must be very clean or dirty I mean inside let's say you watch in the movie you want to do the zombie virus so you just put inside you do lah huh? so you, you don't want to spread the zombie virus out so you put inside and you put your hand inside and you do 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 do, do the zombie virus safety shower okay safety shower and eye washer okay used to clean and rinse part of the body clothing that have come to contact a substance eye wash station so in case this one in case uh in case your eye have the I see something put into your eye la, like for example like suddenly your eye feel very pain because something go into your eye so what should you do when you are in the science laboratory okay so of course if something go into your eye you can use the eye wash station or you go to the toilet you rinse your eye with the water means you just open your eye then you take the water and you wash your eye so sometimes your um your eye is uh, let's say the dust enter your eye what you should do is you should open close open close your eye so that usually you will cry lah huh? then the dirty thing will come out and in a laboratory usually you need to go to the toilet then you just open your eye put the water and wash your eye uh, because it will dilute uh, the water can clean and dilute your whatever chemical that is near to your eye uh, one thing I think people or students always do they like to do like this when they think go into their eye they like to do like this which is actually uh, not good uh, the, it's not good because first the thing the dirty thing won't come out uh, the dirty thing, thing will come out it will get worse you don't do anything to help you will feel more pain and eventually long time long term if you always press your eye your eyeball will become smaller so when your eyeball becomes smaller you will have a long what we call it because you remember about the eye when your eyeball becomes small you will have uh, what you call it long sightedness uh, means you rabun jiao lah, huh? you cannot see far so always make sure that you don't rub your eye and if there is a dirty thing going to your eye you just go to the toilet and you just open your eye and you rinse it with water uh, don't do like that uh. it will get worse okay i think this one okay ready let's go to this disposal waste disposal of waste okay let's continue disposal of waste this one i think you guys also know already lah. Huh? disposal of waste uh, what do you mean by dispose? What does it mean by dispose? So if you find the Google, you should know this word, but uh, or you consider as learning English as well. Dispose to get rid of throwing something or selling to someone, incline someone towards particular activity. Of course, got two meaning lah. Huh? One meaning is to throw. One thing is incline someone to something like disposing you towards sleep uh, incline or encourage and uh, it, a, a lot of meaning also is shown by power he is at my disposal but but we just don't care lah, we are not learning english so we, we just look at the number one term to throw so we want to dispose uh, i want to throw the diapers I want to dispose the diaper so it will so when you write your English in the essay it will be more like a native speaker so means to throw lah huh? so waste you know waste lah huh? waste is the rubbish but of course 
we say waste is more towards the liquid. Rubbish is usually paper. You want to throw paper, so we call it rubbish. Uh, if you want to throw the liquid, after in the science, you do, 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 do the, the water, the liquid. You want to throw, you don't say throw the rubbish or you can say throw the liquid or throw the thing I don't want. But it's the best if you can say throw the waste or dispose the waste properly. Dispose, dispose means throw, lah, waste means it's the thing you don't want. So how we can dispose the waste can and cannot sometimes can and cannot can and cannot so what common thing that we do wrong i see sometimes is the auntie they like to dispose hot water into the sink yeah, i see here god say or not do not dispose hot water into the sink why we cannot dispose hot water into the sink? So you can pause the video and try to Google why you cannot dispose hot water into the sink. Okay, so why cannot? If you cannot, you go Google. I need to teach you guys to use Google. Not, I, not because I don't know. Uh, because uh, I want you to get used to finding the answer by yourself. Uh, as I mentioned, nowadays it's not like last time. If you want to be more clever, be cleverer, not more clever. Uh, you need to, you need to a lot of information you need to find by yourself. Uh, if you just learn from the teacher, then, or oh, but if you're watching YouTube, then it's very good lah. If you just learn from your teacher, like spoon feeding, then not good because nowadays it's different. Uh, what? Let's try to find Google. Why cannot dispose? hot water into the sink let's see why don't use hot water in garbage is it okay to pour your and water in center let's see you got to clean it out is it probably to hey, he also didn't say oh. is it okay to use hot water in garbage disposal he didn't say oh sorry i thought i thought google sometimes google don't have the answer yeah you cannot use hot water disposed into the sink because the hot Usually your mommy cooking lah, huh? then he just pour the water into the sink. The thing is, your sink is metal here, but your pipe is plastic. So when you do like that, the plastic cannot stand the heat because it's a plastic. The plastic is not meant for you to throw in 100 Celsius liquid or soup or water. If it's soup, then it will be more than 100 degrees Celsius. So you always do like that hot water tao xia xi ah. After a while, your your kitchen pipe will ah uh, got hole. Then it will leak. Then the water ti ti ti, and then you call plumber to fix. Why is the more ten ten fire not then the soil say hey ti xia lai. Okay, so substance. Uh, so you cannot throw in hot water into the sink huh? you cannot throw water and some more things that you cannot throw in into the sink is um, the acidic okay pH either it's too alkaline or too acidic too acid or too alkaline but of course uh, five weak acid never mind lah, huh? weak alkaline never mind okay we are talking about the strong acid solid waste may clog up the slim okay solid waste may clog up the slim so don't throw solid waste this one you know lah huh? miss the thing they are solid substance pH value organic compound chemical substance you cannot throw actually we also cannot throw oil into the sink the the why we cannot throw oil into the sink Yes, very good. Okay, so eventually if you throw oil and and uh, oil and grease into the sink, the sink will build up the layer. So it eventually it will clog your pipe. Then the, the pipe will, will spoil like in that water people will, will come and, uh, and uh, the, the waste just don't go in the kitchen. So 
it, do, it doesn't work that way so you don't throw the oil and the paint into the sink but but now a days people cook they they you just throw in lah, huh? but suppose you cannot do like that lah, huh? toxic chemical heavy chemical organic substance radioactive waste all these things you cannot throw into the your sink will exam come out this question maybe for k bike question i think the question will come out something like this they will say like um what are the things that for example the question say why ali cannot throw give you see a picture ali throw the oil into the sink then is the action of ali correct or wrong and then what should ali do for marks so you can say um, ali shouldn't throw the grease because the grief will uh, the grip will corrode the pipe it will build up in the pipe at last the pipe will um, will be jammed and you no longer can use it so it might come out in the exam but I don't think exam will ask you this okay they won't ask you solid waste blah 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 they won't ask you to write all these maybe some example what are the things that we cannot throw so maybe you can say um, strong acid and chemical substance should not be disposed into the waste no need to remember all this lah, huh? but it is important to just understand huh? you just understand the the flow then it should be okay already huh? just understand the flow okay a little bit more to go huh? managing biological waste substance so there is a SOP for disposing okay for you to dispose the biological waste a bit boring lah, this chapter but uh, just chapter one is like that lah. category a category b category c category d i think this one is uh how the types of biological waste i i, I seldom see exam ask chapter one i i this is what i understand lah. like pv3 also some sometimes they seldom ask chapter one though they they put here but i still see that they seldom ask so i don't want to spend too much time to to go into this but but the most important thing is for you to understand now huh? okay so sharp equipment of course sharp equipment you you do not want to throw it put in the container category b non sharp of equipment okay you can uh put in a biohazard bag which can be stand auto claving okay auto clave container means like a container for the thing carcasses organ means like you um, that thing lah huh? for example like maybe the die cat or the dog die ready or the rat die ready you do something then you want to throw so put in the biohazard bag and frozen for example and uh, you you want to put put in a safe place liquid decontaminated by autoclave directly into the sewage system through a laboratory sink or toilet okay of course you need to get this lah huh? you want to throw liquid with uh, decontaminated you need to get this autoclave equipment so it's a equipment which maybe in your your laboratory you have like at your at house usually don't have unless you bought it okay how to handle accident so what are the common accident that might happen in the laboratory what are the accident that might happen i think this one you guys know lah huh? accident that might happen i don't know whether you uh you know but it is very important like fire fragment all these things is uh very important so this one is just um like student think that okay like i just study for exam actually you shouldn't just study for exam you should know this and you be very alert about this thing so you know just for exam you might even save life for example like small fire because recently there is a there's a what lah uh, i don't know whether you see in the video or not sometimes they play the play the firecracker and then the firecracker fire either go into their eye or sometimes they even start a burning like my house suddenly i don't know what happened outside the rugby wing got fire so we quickly take the water from the pipe and and just put out the fire so so these are the thing that 
you need to be very alert and you need to be wise wise to to help your friend and uh, be careful of yourself huh? uh, don't play with fire no need to play with firecracker and uh, electric current very dangerous make sure you keep safe and uh, if people electric you don't touch the person maybe you take your chair a wooden chair or a plastic or your shoe to kick away the person from the electric current then only you try to save the person so this one is uh, uh, very important gas leak also very important of course you say never mind lah, huh? but i because i am old already so i got a story like some people die due to gas leak huh? either in the car or explosion and uh, of course die already lah, huh? so so because the house explode so this thing are uh, you need to be very careful so what happened inform the teacher it depends yes lah here say inform the teacher but if you can solve it then you might want to solve it first you need to think very fast whether you want to tell the teacher or you can just take the water to put it out or you want to get out from there or you want to use the fire extinguisher so this you only have like maybe 10 seconds to think so you you need to think very fast whether you want to tell the teacher put out the fire run or what so you but here say tell your teacher lah huh? but but you pandai pandai lah huh? when the time come you need it actually depend on the situation make a spread area in the restrict zone use sand to form a boundary to protect the spreading so in case of chemical spillage or oh, this is chemical spillage not fire so the chemical already spill so you want to uh, use the sand to form a boundary scoop the chemical spillage dispose the chemical with a procedure this is the example I, it can be anything so the question can ask like maybe it's a glass chemical fire electric current so you need to you need to answer it huh? so mercury let's say there's a broken mercury what should you do if there's a mercury? why broken thermometer is dangerous correct or not if i break this cup i mean also can cut my hand but not that dangerous if I, this is a thermometer break and it cut my hand is more dangerous so why this cup is not that dangerous let's say this is a thermometer why thermometer is more dangerous mercury yes because one of the reason is the inside the thermometer got mercury here is it did i say it's the mercury here mercury mercury is poisonous and it can not only is poisonous it will enter your skin special air eh? because water cannot enter your skin because if you put water on your hand the water will be on your hand the water cannot go inside your hand but if you put your hand you put your thermometer the mercury the mercury will go inside your hand because it will dissolve into the skin it will be absorbed when it touch your skin so it's very special right because usually our hand got a wax layer that uh, eventually it prevent the membrane to prevent liquid from entering our hand to the blood but mercury is very special i think it's because i didn't google it but if i'm not mistaken the particle is very small so mercury is very 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 small small until it can go into your hand so when you hold like that eventually the it will just go into your body and it will be poisonous so of course yes mercury is more poisonous than the glass break the glass break i hold cut my hand never mind one because it won't go into my blood mercury break the mercury will go into your blood and uh, it's very dangerous because it will cause nervous system digestive tract and kidney and and when the thing go into your body it takes time for it to come out uh, if you go to hospital also i don't know how the doctor want to help you because the mercury already in your blood but of course usually you won't die like because the thermometer only got a little bit but it will stick in your body for quite very very long maybe long term can cause cancer or what so yeah so handle it properly uh, be careful don't let children play next time you become mommy daddy you make, make sure you don't simply put thermometer and let your children play with it 
Okay, inform the teacher. Uh, make a spiral area, huh? Sprinkle sulfur, sprinkle sulfur powder onto the spillage. Oh yeah, here it says sulfur powder lah, huh? Or oh, because involving mercury. If you don't have, then maybe you just want to use sand. Should be should be okay, because you you don't want it to flow. Call the fire department. What? Need to call even fire department. Uh, depend uh, depend on how severe is your 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 thing uh. yeah I also got called police a few time I got called fire department a few time uh, so so far it's so good lah uh. usually I call they will come in if I call police uh, they will come in ten minutes eh. you you can try this no I don't try this lah unless you I I got try call police a few time then um. Very fast, eh? Five ten minutes come ready, oh. very, very very fast. Um, ambulance slow a bit. Fire fireman I never caught before lah. Ambulance usually half an hour, but police very fast. They come very fast. Okay, so uh, okay, so we will take a short break. Then later we will continue back with number seven. Okay.